Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So this morning we're at Simon's farmhouse and we're going to be hanging some of the cell doors from the convent. So let's crack on. Simon, look at that. It looks amazing, mate. Yeah, we've done it eventually. There's a bit of messing about. We've put this on and took it off about three times. <laughs> we constructed it and then constructed it again. Yeah. Um, now I understand, you know, how it's, it's these because we, I mean, I've never hung these type of uh, sort of hinges before, mm -hmm. um, but obviously we know now. So when I go to do this door, which will go here, which will lead into the bathroom, it's going to be a lot more straightforward. Yeah. Do you want to show everyone an example of what the actual hinge looks like? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just so the methodology of putting that onto your framework is literally yeah, so hammering it on. Literally, if I just show you here, what you do is literally bang this straight in so mm -hmm. far, and then that hooks on the door. Yeah. Like so. And so that's you've literally got, how they work. You've got her off of the door up and yeah. then so mark it. Find out where you want. Yep. And obviously try and get this to your mark, which sits level with that, mm -hmm. so that when it's in there, it sits like that. Because there's no room for error. No, there's not a lot of room for error. <laughs> no, I think there's no room for error. Yeah, yeah. It goes in where it goes in, and doesn't it? Yeah, it? once you've hammered that in, that's where it's staying, so... Or you've got to change the wood. Or you've got to change the wood, yeah. yeah. So we've been putting a pilot hole in there first, mm -hmm. obviously, to give them... So it doesn't split out, you know, too much. Yeah. Or at all, if possible, mm -hmm. um, which would then guide that in in a straight line. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we've done on that one. So this one will be next. Yeah. So we've got number so 13, you've number got, 14. So you've got the toilet. Yeah, this is the toilet. So yeah. And the, I mean, these, if, if ladies and gentlemen can see that, they're not actually to lock the door. They're to actually open the door. Yeah. So they actually do the catch. Do they not lock? Then, no. They don't turn the other way? No. No. Oh, that's unusual. Yeah, so. Oh, no, but if you take the key out, you can't open the door. 
Yeah, if you take the key out, you won't be able to open it. So if somebody's <laughs> in there, yeah. and you want to play a little trick with them. No, but they can still open it from the yeah. inside, so can't they? Take that out, yeah. That's true. You can still open it from the inside. Yeah, because yeah. it's got the little cap, yeah. Which is on here, I've got sign. Otherwise, they'd be proper cell doors, wouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, they're like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can open it from inside. Yeah. If the key fell out, yeah. um, you st it'd still get in there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you took the key out, you couldn't get in there. No, so, which is, I suppose, a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of security, but obviously... Yeah. <laughs> but they basically work the, work the latch. Yeah. So, and I don't know if you saw in here, mm -hmm. this part of it. Yep, I filmed that actual, bit, yeah. The actual peak bit, and you have to drive that in the tin yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Which is to catch, you know, so it doesn't yep. really get the catches. So that's the toilet, and then here's going to be the shower and sink. Yeah. There is also going to be a sink in the toilet, a small one. Yeah, that's what that pipe work there is for. Yep. So it's going to have a little hand basin there, yep. so you can wash your hands. And then obviously um, toilet, yeah. yeah the, and then you've got the toilet. shower. Yeah, the shower. I'll move this out of the way. Might be able to see on You're going to put the door in the here. The door's going to go approximately there. Yeah. But there'll be a wall here that comes around because this will be another bedroom. Mm -hmm. And this in here will be the ensuite. In here. Yeah. So when that door's put in there, the shower mm -hmm. is going to go in this corner here, which is what these pipes are for. Yeah. So the shower will be in that corner. We'll have a hand basin here. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. Um, and I suppose the, the toilet's pretty good like that because in case you've got multiple guests. Yeah. The toilet's always available. Yeah. I mean, there's two bedrooms, so there's another bedroom up there which is slightly bigger than this bedroom. Which yeah, People but it means the person in, well, if that's probably going to be your bedroom, it means you can also use that toilet. So you haven't got Ex multiple toilets everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. will put a toilet in the ensuite bathroom mm -hmm. in there, but yeah. the, the idea between putting a separate toilet rather than putting it in here is yeah. if we've got people that are staying in this room, but mm -hmm. then we've got multiple guests, yeah. they haven't got to come upstairs, go through their bedroom to use the toilet. Yeah. The toilet is a separate you know, compartment mm -hmm. you know, all together, yeah. which allows, you know, people just to use that. But I can now see the, uh, why you put in the Veluxes. Yeah, that's Because fine. it lets all the light in. Yeah, so if, we, if you can, I mean, if the people have not seen, ladies and gentlemen, if you go back last summer, mm -hmm. which is six months ago approximately. We put the roof on. We put the roof on and you see me putting the uh, Veluxes in. Yeah. And I explained where they were positioned and what for. Mm -hmm. So this is why, obviously, they are where they are. And the one on the end... That's for the staircase. That's for the staircase. Yep. Just a new staircase. So the staircase is currently there, which has just been yes, constructed, temporary. temporary. And then this is going to be where the new one is. Yeah. So these boards, I've just put on here for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. The staircase will come up here into a small landing, mm -hmm. and into that bedroom, into the toilet. Yeah. And that's why this V-Lux went in here. Yeah. So that it lights it all up. Fantastic. What mate. I intend to do as well is put a piece of glass in here. Yeah. Because there'll be no light in there. All right, when we okay. Fill it in. So we're going to have a panel of glass in there. So that light will come through and flood and light up the toilet. Yeah. During the daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, of there'll be a light in there but in the yeah, in yeah. night. But yeah, so. I think you just get away with a light in there, mate. It'd be all right. Yeah. But if I put that in there, it's yeah. going to have light in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, of course. It, I mean, yeah. it'll just be a little bit of glass yeah. in there just to let light come Well, those people can't look in. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I will be halfway down the stairs standing. Yeah, there, so you would be, be, yeah. Yeah, here, so yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Be in there. Yeah, of course. And yeah. even at your height, you know, up there, you're not going to be able to mm -hmm. see in and over. No, no, so. of course not. All right yeah. then, mate. I'll let you crack on and fit a few okay. more. Okay, yeah. And we'll catch up with you probably in a week or so. Yeah, maybe. maybe in another couple of weeks, yeah. Next weekend or something. Hopefully by then I'll have... Because I've got the rest of today, I'm going to hang that door next, mm -hmm. the one into the bathroom. Yeah. Then I'm going to start putting some plasterboard all up. All right, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I see you got plasterboard. Yeah, we've got 10 sheets of plasterboard. We worked out each sheet is 20, 27 kilograms. Something like that. Each sheet, yeah. yeah and I put 10 of them on top of my poor little car. <laughs> plus timber. <laughs> so... I'm glad when I took them off the suspension come back on, yeah. but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's a strong little car, yeah. so. So yeah, brilliant, yeah. mate. I've got this as well from the convent. Oh yeah, so toilet. Toilet. Yeah, we'll take that little tag off and put that on there. That sign was off the communal toilet sign. There was actually like a communal toilet with shower, baths and toilets. 
So it makes yeah. perfect sense to put it on the communal it's... toilet here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll stick that on there. All right then, mate. Thanks a lot for letting me film, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. And I'm sure uh, the ladies and gentlemen would like to uh, keep up. And you're anyway. possibly going to be at the convent at some point next week. Yeah. So, as you know, we're at your nan and granddad's and we're just finishing off probably Monday or Tuesday we'll be finished Okay, there. yep. And then we'll be back at the convent. Fantastic. Cracking on with the hallway. Yeah, crack on with the hallway. Yep. Get whatever's left plasterboard wires to done. Because yep. we've got to put the noggins above. Yep, the ceiling. And then we can put the plasterboard. The ceiling's quite important, yeah. Anyway, I'll be down to see you and help you a little bit. But obviously I'm back at the chateau for a little bit. So, okay. yeah. All right then, mate. Okay. Catch you later. All right. Okay. Have a nice, productive day. Okay, then. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you in a See you later, mate. We'll see you next week at some point. Yep. All right, then. What is that? Well, this is the newest Petherick, Montgomery pig. It looks like us. <laughs> We've just picked him up. He was a uh, he was rejected by his his mother, I think, and um, he was hand reared by a family, and um, they've uh, was looking for a nice new home for him. No, and I, I I I wanted a pig, didn't I, Ernest? Um, yeah. I wanted a pet pig. So this one will have to live indoors, apparently. I mean, he can go out in the summer, I think, but. For now, we can sleep by the Arga with Titi. I kind of do something, right? <laughs> I, I want to do a little pet pig. Yeah, well, you've got one now. Yep. There you go. Brilliant. <laughs> Congratulations. Please, that's wet. Please, that's wet. That means we don't touch them. Ha ha ha!